hi everyone welcome back to the channel it's your favorite girl favor if this is your first time of seeing my beautiful face thank you so much for being here on this youtube channel we learn how to turn void materials into a beautiful piece so please do well to click on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever i post a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support so on today's we're going to be learning how to sew this milk made blouse with an under corset so if this is something you're interested in let's head to the tutorial proper So guys, I've gone ahead now to use the pattern that we drafted out from on our previous tutorial to um, cut on the main fabric, okay? I'm going to be leaving the link on the description box below for the tutorial. So you need to watch that tutorial. It is very important for you to watch the tutorial so that you understand every details that comes with that tutorial, both how to snatch your waist, how to get your waist snatching for this cut, the under corset. You need to watch the tutorial, okay? And also went ahead to also cut the interface and as well use my soft gum to gum on both the main fabric and the, on the interfacing all right and did the same thing for the front i also did the same thing for the back as well all right you can see what that looks like okay all right so guys you've seen how this looks like i did this for both for the interfacing like i said before and on the main fabric so i'll go ahead now and drop the pattern that we already drafted and we'll go straight to the joining of the pieces okay now you can see that i didn't cut the lining and the inter the, the interfacing and the fabric the same length now you can see that the main fabric is longer than the interfacing and i used one inch to do this this is because when we join our fabric is not going to the interfacing will not be showing out okay all right so guys now we'll go ahead now and separate the front and the path the front pattern and the back pattern we keep the back pattern separately now you can see i went ahead to iron this and the ironing that i used is going to be seven as our middle point now to get the corset that we're going to that this um, blast has we're going to divide our boss point our boss pan divided by two i will mark it at the middle there you can see where i placed my tape then i'll come down here and mark three inches i hope you understand now we'll go ahead and connect this line in a slanted way you can see the way the line is all right now we'll go ahead now and use our scissors to notch this point <coughs> use our scissors to notch this out we will notch the down part of this um one and then we'll also go ahead and notch the upper part of this so that it will, will be able to it will be easy for us to identify where to place our bone in, in our boning face okay now what i'm going to do right now is to go ahead and use the bias now i don't know how many yards of bias that we do you can see that the um, quantity of bias that we need for this is really not much okay so now we're going to go ahead and use the bias and place it on top Top of where we launched you can see and then slant it let me go ahead and turn this over like this so that you understand now you slant the bias this way so that it's going to come out fine see the way i'm placing my bias like so that is how we're going to place our bias then i'll go ahead and pin this down now when you're conditioning when you're sewing on this you're meant to sew on this in a way that your boning can pass through or a loop can pass through all right then we'll go ahead and cut this and we'll use the same bias to place for the middle point we'll also cut this and i also do the same thing for the other side now you can see the slant effect is already showing on that so i will take this now and sew it and bring it back so guys i've gone ahead now to sew the bias you can see what it looks like and also ironed it out all right you can see what this looks like and the slanting the slanted effect is already showing so we'll go ahead now and keep this aside and then bring our cup like i said before you need to see the tutorial of how we be able to do this when i was cutting this fabric on on the fabric i went ahead to add one inch here you can see where i added one inch and then i added half inch around the other so it for steaming allowance now i added the one inch because i discovered that i don't want my boobs to show okay so that is why i added one inch to the pattern that we drafted like i said before you need to see the tutorial for the pattern drafting so that you understand what we are doing here okay now that i've 
put the pattern that we drafted aside we're going to go ahead now and fold this edge like so this is not from the armhole edge this is the edge that is going to be at the center you'll fold this in like so two times this is just to avoid it having a rough edge at the front okay now we'll pin this down you can see what it meant to look like all right you can see what it looks like we'll also do the same thing fold it first time and then you fold it again like so all right now after we folded this one now the next one we're going to do you can see the way it looks like remember is at the middle and not where the armhole is all right so guys we'll pick um these pieces that are already cut i cut two inches of this you can see it i cut two inches of this this is what we're going to be using as a bias this is going to be serving as a bias that will pass our loop at the front the rope that you will see at the middle of that um, blouse okay so you place front side facing front and place it like so and then you stop where your armhole is going to be your armhole joining is going to start you see where i placed it i cut it out and we'll use this one now to order cut for the other um bra cup that we're trying to create all right so after cutting this now the next thing we're going to do this is how we're going to place it okay guys so i forgot to mention before you place this on top of this like so remember we folded the front part in now make sure you join this one first before folding that other one i hope you understand all right so we'll pin this now the front side facing front and we'll flip it over like so now this is all like the way you turn your bias when you're sewing with bias but the only difference is that you will make sure that a loop should be able to pass on that hair you can see it like so okay so we'll fold this now all right and then we'll also do the same thing for the other side remember to fold the front path and the front space first before placing this okay after placing this on top of this now we'll also go ahead and do a gather stitches on that where the corset is going to start you can see where i i, I showed you like so we'll go ahead and run a gather stitch so i'll do this and i'll bring it back so guys i've gone ahead now to run the gather stitches and i also went ahead to pipe the mouth where our loop is going to pass that is the rope that is at the middle so we'll bring the front pattern like so and then take the measurement of what of where we got our cup from like so and mine gave me 10 inches all right let's measure it again to be okay to be sure that we got the accurate measurement you can see this this gave us 10 inches still okay now we're going to go ahead now and drag our gather stitch i hope you know how to do your gather stitch is a loose stitch you is advisable you run the stitch two times all right and then you go ahead and pull it like so you can see the way i'm pulling the stitch together you can see what it looks like so you go ahead and pull it gradually to the quantity you want or to the measurements you are working with you can see the way i'm pulling it like so that is how you pull for a gather stitch so i will go ahead now and do the gather stitch like for this one and i also go ahead and do for the other one okay so guys you can see i've gone ahead now to do the gather stitch and this is what this looks like and then this gave us how many inches we have here gave us nine so we're going to loosen it a bit to give us 10 inches remember what we're looking for for the round cup is 10 inches we'll also measure this now to see what we have now this we have 10 inches okay so we'll go ahead now and drop this one now aside and then do for this one now this one is already there already did for this one i just wanted to show you how to pull your gather stitch and then this is more than 10 i will also go ahead and pull this for us for you to give us exactly 10 inches now after pulling this out now you can see what this looks like you can see what it looks like after pulling this out we'll go ahead and tie this place that the rope that we use in pulling the the gather stitch out okay you can see the way i tied it there like giving it a nudge that is what it means now i'm gonna have to cut the pieces of this this is what is going to we're going to be using to pass through for the loop that you see at the front you see the stylish design at the front that have the rope so remember the first place we part we stitched together we used to turn it in like a bias we'll go ahead and pass it through and then pass it all the way through like so with your septum pin 
you can see what i'm doing right here so please go ahead and do it now i've pulled it to the end i will use a, a pin now to pin this down to avoid this from moving so from the rope from going out of the main place okay you can see what i'm doing right here so after passing our loop like so i will also go ahead and do for the other cup like the other cup the same way i did for the other one so guys i've gone ahead now to pass the rope you can see what this looks like so we'll go ahead and tie this together all right so the next thing we're going to do right now is to pick our front our center front you can see this is our front here and then we'll place it the front side facing front starting from the center like so you can see where i'm placing this make sure you're placing it in a way is not going the gathers is not going to move all right so i'll take this now and sew this and also do it for this one and then i'll bring it back for us to see okay guys i've gone ahead now to stitch this you can see what it looks like all right so i'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys what i did right here okay now because i don't want my boobs to show by the time you you do this and then you tie this on your body it definitely there's every tendency the middle is going to show so i went ahead to use one side and i place it on top of each other you can see the way it's looking like here okay so now we're going to go ahead and bring our bony now this is the bony we're going to be using this is a non-sewable bony you can't sew on this bony so you have to be extremely careful to avoid your machine sewing or your needle touching this because it's definitely going to break okay so we'll measure this and then we cut this out like so all right and then measure this again you can see the way it is like you can see that the bony it did not get to the full length of that play you can see it you can see what the hair look like okay this is because you do not want your needle to try this bony and this is an half inch now this is how to avoid every uncomfortability that comes with the bony okay so whatever works for you please do but for me i would recommend you just burn it okay and another way another method um how to avoid the sharp edges of bony disturbing you or um affecting or choking your body is to use solo tape to fold the mouth but i recommend burning still so after doing it like so we're going to go ahead and pass it through the bony case that we already created with our bias okay now i'll measure the length of the bony case and then i'll go ahead and cut i'll also do the same thing remember this is what i this is how i do my own bony to avoid every uncomfortability that comes with the sharp edge of bony so we'll go ahead and pass it through like so and we'll also pass it through to other side so guys i've gone ahead now to pass it through now before sewing on this you can see that i pulled out a little of that bony remember we cannot sew on the bony okay now we're going to pick our lining you see the place i'm placing it just follow exactly what i'm doing here and you're good to go so after placing it here i'm going to go ahead now and use pin to pin this down here you can see that the pin was able to pass through because i shifted the bony the bony did not get to where we we're sewing because if your bony gets to that place it's going to break okay so guys i've gone ahead now to stitch to use the interfacing to um, stitch on it you can see what it looks like all right so i'll flip this over for you to understand what i'm saying now you can see that the lining piece is shorter than the main fabric okay now this is to avoid the lining showing under the clothes okay now the next thing we're going to do is to give this under place that we stitch notches around it to make the fabric the the cup balance properly all right you can see the way i'm notching it now after notching it now we'll go ahead and open this you see the way the lining and the fabric is separate and the cup the fabric that is the colorful fabric that is serving as our cup you see the way i folded it in and then we use the main they use the main fabric and the interfacing to close it up like so you can see what i'm doing here just do exactly what you see me doing here now if you want to sew you might discover that the bony might be obstructing you from being able to pull just pull it a little bit like so and then stitch around here i will do this and i'll bring it back so guys this is what this looks like i've gone ahead now to stitch on that out so i'm going to go ahead now and turn 
turn this in out you can see the way i'm turning it now because of the bony it might be a little difficult just take your time and then pull this out now after pulling this out to go ahead and iron this properly you can see how difficult it is to turn this so guys i've gone ahead to turn it all around and then i ironed it it might look like it's not properly ironed but i ironed it now you can see that at the tip is the fabric that is showing instead of the lining that is the effect of why i made the interfacing to be shorter okay so take keep this aside now and bring the front the back path and the back pieces okay so you guys you can see now we're going to go ahead and use our interfacing to turn in to turn an invisible stitch for the back pattern now please pay attention here you, you know that the fabric is shorter so the first place you're supposed to stitch is the down part that is your waist part where your cloth your blouse is meant to stop you can see where i pointed at and now when you finish stitching there you now drag it up and pull it remember stitch here for first after 16 you pull this so i'll go ahead and do this and i'll bring it back so guys i've gone ahead now to do the interfacing you can see what it looks like now see pay attention you can see that there's no dart like i said before on our pattern when we're drafting our pattern that i'm trying out a new method so you need to check out the video for you to understand the new method i am trying out okay now i also went ahead to add my zipper to this i added a zipper to this and you see there's no visible that on this clothes okay and i also went ahead to add my um zip to the clothes i added a zip to this clothes you can see what it looks like i'm not even telling you a lie this is actually looking good now i have a detailed tutorial on my channel on how to insert a zip on your clothes okay so please do well to check that as well all right so this is going to be our back pattern now bring out the front pattern and place it like so now you're going to use your measurement so just close it out at the other the sides okay so for me i'm going to use one inch to close it up but before that we're going to get our armhole curve our armhole now you see the way i'm placing my my tape i'm going to be using eight um four inches for my armhole i'll place it like so and then i will trim that off and i also do the same thing for the other armhole place it together like so and then measure it in a slanted way four inches and then i'll just give it that armhole curve so by the time you're done doing like so you go ahead and shape your clothes with the measurements you're working with now for the other side the front pattern i use my zigzag stitches to just run a surge at the um, side okay now we're going to go ahead and work on the sleeve now this sleeve is into four you can see the sleeve this sleeve is into four i had to even join on my fabric now the length of the sleeve that we are working with today is 28 inches now i also still realize that this 28 inches was still not um, long enough after attaching the elastic so please go ahead and then know the measurements you're supposed to do that will be a long enough for you in case if you wanted to get them now we're going to achieve the effect the color the multicolor line on that stuff now i've already measured my wrist so depending on where you want your own to start from your first band to start from mind you this um is folded into two so we're cutting the sleeves together now i came down by uh, by 11 inches okay now for my my biceps i came down again and i took the measurement and then i will mark now whatever i have here i will go ahead now and mark eight inches okay so after marking the eight inches i'll go ahead and connect these lines together then i will give it a notch so remember this is folded the two um, sleeves is together like so i'll give this a notch here and i also give the other one a notch you can see the way i'm doing it like so i'll give it a notch now we'll go ahead now and separate these two sleeves together after separating the sleeves together the next thing we are going to do right now is to work on the different color of sleeve that you can see on the blouse that we are trying to recreate okay so please pay attention on how i'm going to be achieving that now all right so after placing this remember i already cut out pieces of um, um fabric that we had as the cup you can see now we're going to use the front side of fitting front we'll place it like so and then sew it 
first and then turn it in like a bias let me go ahead and pin this now so that i can demonstrate that you understand what i'm talking about now after place sewing it like so you now flip it up like so and then turn it as if you're turning a bias but remember you only you will turn it and you fold it in a way a loop can easily pass it through it you can see what i did here all right so you do the same thing now to achieve the other color you can see now how to achieve this one you see that notch that we place you fold it in first here you see what i'm doing here and then you fold the other edge in like so remember you're sewing this at the front you're sewing this on the front of the main fabric not at the back okay guys so i've gone ahead now to create the elastic case for the sleeve you can see what this looks like okay now this is the first one you can see the first one this is going to be where our shoulder is going to be all right you can see the second one here this is the second one all right and then this is also the third one you can see the third one as well all right and i also went ahead to fold the edges for the main sleeve length i just went ahead to fold it in like so all right so we're going to go ahead now and fold this together like so you can see the way i folded it now and then place the two sleeves together again like so all right remember we have not gotten our armhole curve all right so what we're going to do right now is to get our armhole curve so we'll pick our main blouse okay and then place it together like so just pay attention to what i am doing you can see where i placed it like so now place it you can see the way i've placed it just place it properly like so and then after placing this now we'll go ahead and just use this armhole that is on the main blouse to trace out on the sleeve you can see the way i'm tracing it out now after tracing it we'll go ahead and separate this like so and keep this aside now guys for this armhole for this our uh, sleeve length that we're working with i've gone ahead to create uh, to cut out different elastic for different um, um uh, different elastic case that we're working with now the first elastic one this is going to be the one that is going to be close to the wrist okay i have eight nine inches okay now i also have nine inches remember we're working with two sleeve i have nine inches i have eight inches okay this is eight inches i have eight inches okay i have eight inches into two remember whatever we do for this sleeve would do for the other sleeve okay this is also eight inches now the big the longest one we have is 12 inches now i realized when i finished attaching it that the 12 inches was really not too was really too big for my shoulder then i reduced it to 11 inches okay so it's advisable for you to make sure that you take you know the measurements you're going to work you work with when it comes to the elastic okay now this is the biggest um the elastic that will be on the shoulder like i said before this is 13 inches i had to reduce this i had to reduce this particular one so we're going to go ahead now and use our septum pin and pass through the elastic and then pick one of the sleeve and then pass it through the uh, um, elastic case that we already created Just just pay attention to what i'm doing you can see the way i'm passing it through just pass it gradually like so and then pull it out okay so this is something that you should be familiar with as a fashion designer all right so pass it through like so and then pass all the way through and i will do the same thing now to the end now when i got to the end of this thing i will have to use septum pin my pin to hold this down because remember that the fabric we're working with is bigger than the elastic so this is what i'm doing right here you can see what i'm doing so guys this is what it looks like so i will go ahead now and do this thing and i will pass all the elastic case through i'll pass elastic through all the elastic case and i'll bring it back for us so guys this is what it looks like after passing the elastic through the elastic case that we created i went ahead to use one inch to close the sleeve up okay now this is what it looks like you can see what this looks like and i also did the same thing for the other sleeve now we're going to go ahead and attach our sleeve to the main fab to the main blouse okay now how to attach this sleeve like i said before the measurement you're going to work with is what you're going to use to close up your blouse okay now you can see that where we created our armhole i didn't stitch there so the armhole start the 
closing the one inch i use for the closing started from where our arm holster you can see what i'm talking about you see what's where i started stitching the one inch now pick this the armhole sleeve that we created and pick the blouse and then pin it together like so okay and then you extend it like so this is how to attach a sleeve um you should know how to attach this sleeve okay so this is me pinning it all around and you see where i'm pinning is where you're going to stitch it now you can see what this looks like i'm still going to demonstrate this with the other sleeve now you pick this other sleeve and then you pick the armhole that you created on the blouse and pick the armhole that you created on the sleeve like so you can see what it looks like now you place it together pick the two together and make sure the lines that we join together um at the same point you can see what this looks like so i'll go ahead now and pin this all way around and then extend it to where the armhole curve stops you and sew it and bring it back for us to see what it looks like so guys voila this is what the sleeve looks like on the blouse i've gone ahead now to attach the sleeve on the blouse this is what it looks like and see how beautiful this blouse turns out to be so the only thing left now is to just go ahead and just um weave the armhole that is all that is left okay so guys this is all for the uh, sewing of this milk made blouse with an under corset very simple and straight to the uh, straightforward okay now if you want to have an elastic if you don't want it to be a cone hand like like so you can go ahead and attach elastic to the wrist as well so this is what this looks like and then you can tie this okay now you can see that mine is not going to be too expensive and even from the video you see that it's not exposing so guys that's all for the cutting of this uh, blouse please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up please do not forget to subscribe like and comment so that this video can go viral thank you so much for watching guys and you can see the back pattern what it looks like without a that a visible that manipulation on it and i love the outcome already okay please guys do not forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified when next we post a tutorial okay thank you so much for watching see you guys on my next tutorial bye for now